Good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Terry Quator today. Welcome to Thursday, August 29th. Yeah. August 29th, 2024, day 242. <laughs> yeah, it's 242. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's doing pretty good. We're just, uh... Listening to my phone go off, apparently. No messages. It's uh, Nothing's transferring to my wristwatch, so it must be nothing. Anyway, um, we're mainly just waiting for this weekend. It's going to be Labor Day weekend this time. But, of course, that starts after the work, at work and school hours tomorrow. So it's just getting through my favorite day of the week. Which, yeah. So the reason why Thursdays are my favorite day of the week, they actually harken back to my high school days. Oddly enough, the reason why it's always been my favorite day of the week is um, I took Japanese class in my, I want to say in my junior year, so it was 2004-2005 school year, and in two, uh, that year when I took Japanese class, I took it in the 2005 semester, so I, I took it in the second semester, Um the way our, our teacher was was from Japan and she always had a test every Friday. And so I would do the typical cram study the night before. And that was the one night every single week. I just stay up all freaking night doing nothing but studying for that test. I can't say I perform well, but I never perform well in school in general. But that's because school's not really my environment for learning, you know. Never was. I hated school. But still, I got to stay up all night studying for these classes and then drink an entire pot of coffee the next morning. Or so Friday morning, I'd just have an entire pot of coffee and just be just... Eh, when I think about it now, that's something I just I just never would be able to do again. I, I can't stay up that long anymore. I just don't have the energy for it. I can't really say it's the kids that, you know, make it to where I can't stay up. It's just I'm not getting any younger, and I'm very much out of shape. <laughs> oh, man, am I out of shape. But like Tessa said, I, I, I can't really get to any gyms or anything like that because, one, we don't own a car, and, two, all the gyms are on the other side of town. They have all of them on the other side, uh, minimum like six miles from here. And walking six miles to go to the gym would already be my workout, if you think about it, I'm not going to spend all day walking just to spend like spend half the day walking to get to a gym only to realize I've just gotten there, but I have to spend the rest of my day walking home. So it's just not something I can do. I can't really put a tr like one. I can't afford a treadmill and two. I don't have anywhere to put one, but simple workout equipment would be nice. The, the other struggle we're facing is that all the parks where people could do working out, they're all closing down and people are frowned upon using parks these days. Like, I don't see any kids ever playing at the parks around here anymore. And I can't really attribute it to... I, I can't really attribute it to being... Oh, Sweet Pea really wants in here. Gotta be a little careful. I can't attribute kids not going to the park be just because of the heat. Don't get me wrong. It's been way too hot this summer to let, to safely let kids go to these parks. It's too hot, too dangerous. They don't have any... Wow, they do not have any water fountains at the par at the only park I know of around here. Like, by us, no, no water fountains. That's not good. But the, the other part is more and more parents can't, like, can't let their kids play outside by themselves anymore. I, I know of cases in Arizona and Texas. Well, California, Arizona, Texas, a few other states where people have been getting fined, you know, getting tickets for letting their kids play even in their own front yard unattended. So that is really loud in my ear. Why is it getting louder? <sighs> I'll just I'll just leave it. It's Minecraft music. If I get a copyright or one of those, uh, uh, not a strike, but uh, what was it? Uh, eh, I'll just leave it. Whatever. There's another term for it other than a strike, because I've never been struck before, but I have gotten uh, claimed claimed. I've I've gotten copyright claims before by people even walking by having music going. It is what it is, but. 
I mean, it's a Minecraft world. I mean, that's fine, right? How much to Minecraft? My my uh, eldest, you know, Buttercup, she loves Minecraft. I tried to play. I just can't get into it. But, yeah, people get fines for letting their kids play out even in their own front yard unattended. Like, they can have their windows open and watching their kids, but if the parents aren't out there at the same time in some of these states, they get fined, which is unbelievably ridiculous and stupid. But I can kind of understand because things are... Well, like, I, I want our kids to be able to feel they don't need to be babysat at all hours because that's that really attributes and encourages helicopter parenting. And I don't like helicopter slash bulldozer parenting. I hate it. That's how you get really messed up kids as they become young adults is through helicopter and bulldozer parenting. You got to give your kids some degree of independence so they can learn and interact with other kids their age as they grow and learn the ins and outs of how they're going to interact with each other. If you babysit at all times, well, they're only going to know that someone's watching them at all times and everything's going to be on edge. Or, you know, on edge or spoiled. It's usually those, those kinds of scenario. But... I can't really, I can't really say it's... Good for kids to, well, it's good for kids, but at the same time, it, it, it's a balance. You need a balance between knowing what your kids are up to, knowing and knowing when, like knowing when to step in, but also giving them that independence. Because if you give them too much, they're going to do whatever they want anyway. But if you do too much, they're either going to crawl up into a shell and be afraid of the world or look at you like you're an overbearing jerk. So there, it's, it's a delicate balance and you have to know when it's a learning process. It's a learning process for both the children and yourself. Uh, let's see. There was something else. There was something else I was going to touch on. What was it? I guess I could say we, we have been playing that, that not or Natlin region in Genshin impact. It's actually quite fun. We like it. Um, what was there? Oh yeah. They still haven't done. They still haven't started working on that. Uh, broken water line by our house they just sprayed down where all the gas lines are in front of our in you know around our house and uh that worries me that worries me significantly because our entire yard is surrounded by gas lines all the tree roots that i want to have dug out are by the by the gas lines that's not good at all which means i've got to call that what is it uh 811 to know where i can dig and how i can dig or something like that because if I can get rid of those tree roots, I can fix the yard up even more. But the tree roots need to be dug out. But there are gas lines over there, so what am I going to do? Uh, that 811 is going to be a pain in the butt. Uh, plus, i got to take that up with the property managers. But I'm pretty sure if I can get those tree roots out, the property management would be more than happy for it. Because then they don't have to worry about it. That's one less headache. So I, I'd say that, that that would be a win-win if it can be efficiently done without having to hire someone. If I can do it myself, they'll be all for it. You'd think. It's all about those liabilities and everything. Ins like, as, like I've always said, insurance and lawyers can, can be very obstructive. In fact, that's why, every, that's why so many things are so expensive or so difficult to get done in countries like the United States. Is it's nothing but red tape. Lawyers galore. You can't do this because of this regulation. Can't do that because of this regulation. This regulation says you have to pay in for these inspectors, and then they'll they'll do the inspection and say you have to pay for this other inspection and this other process and how it's done. <sighs> Bureaucracies, they exist only to prove they need to exist, or they get to a point where they say we have to exist because we're here. You know, typical stuff. But I don't need to complain about that. And there were other things I was going to talk about. The other thing was. Well, let's see. What was it? I hate. I hate how I do that. It, it, it's to me. It feels like the equivalent of wondering where your keys are every time you leave a room. I don't have. I typically don't need to worry about that because I know exactly where I put them every time. And I'm not gonna say it because Sweet Pea's understanding words. If she hears this, she'll know where I keep my keys and take them. So I know where I keep my keys when I'm in the house. When I'm not in the house, the keys are in my pocket. That's fine. I don't need other people digging through my pockets. Uh, let me think here. Let me think. Uh, well, 
I do know that next week we're due for some thunderstorms, which are fantastic. It might be just rain, but getting the temperatures down will be wonderful because we're still fighting. The weather here is still fighting to get under the hundreds right now. I think it's under 100. I think it's 99. Let me grab my phone and check. Come here, phone. Let me see here. Okay, let me see. Okay, it's 98, but feels more like 100 degrees. So it's finally under 100. After over two months, almost three months, it's been 100 degrees constantly. And tomorrow... Ooh! Tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday shows 91, 88, and 88. <gasps> Monday and two, ooh, Monday and Tuesday, 84 and 83 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll take it. I will take it. I mean, that's the lowest I've seen in three months. <sighs> Here's to hoping all of September does not reach 100 degrees and just keeps getting cooler. Because, well, to be completely honest... My electric bill would thank me very much if I could keep the temperatures lower, but I gotta turn something down in my head real quick. Hang on. See, I did that. Come here, you. Volume in my head was getting too loud, so I had to adjust some volume controls. It happens. So, yeah, with that, we're final. I don't see a single day in the next two weeks on the forecast being 100 degrees. We finally made it there. Now for it to feel. Because feel is where that index is. So it still feels like 100 degrees, but it's not. It's still 98. Uh, it's so I'm so, so happy for that. Oh, it's been, it's been atrocious this year. Oh, my, my last electric bill for a two bedroom house was over two, was $268 for a two bedroom house. Other two bedroom houses or two bedrooms of our size in the average household was like half of what we had to pay almost half so like 125 is what they claim it's like i'd love those numbers right now because this is awful but i'm expecting the august bill because august was even worse than july so i'm expecting that electric bill probably to be in the 300 ranges that's where i'm expecting it and i do not look forward to it whatsoever <sighs> We are, as the alphas say, we are cooked. I hate that. I dislike that phrase. I dislike it very, very much. But what can you do? Everyone's using the phrase. Woo. I kind of like the, I like older phrases and older words. Some of them, not all of them, but I, I typically use older ones. Older than even my own generation, older than boomers sometimes. And that's because I use the phrase for boomer properly. I'm not going to call a Gen X or a boomer, and I'm not going to call a millennial a boomer. Of course, I don't appreciate that I am a millennial. I don't appreciate it one bit. <sighs> but there's always your outliers who hate their generation. Like, I don't belong in this generation. That would be me. I hate, like, when I was in, like I said, when I was in school, I hated my peers. Even as a young adult, I hated my peers. I always preferred speaking to people who were older than me. And then there was a certain alcoholic when I was in my early 20s that kind of ruined that for me. Well, not exactly. Now I just don't really talk to many people at all. The only people I really talk to outside of this house and not online just happen to be people I see in passing at the grocery store. I don't mind that because that's where I do like having some of my just short and brief conversations. You can say a few words, have a few quips, give a one-liner and a pun, and then you're on your way. Although there have been a few occasions where, oddly enough, people will start just calling out Marco like maybe they're looking for someone named Marco. And it's like a sneeze. I cannot help but yell out Polo. 
they laugh, but it's like a sneeze. I can't help myself. I hear someone yell out Marco. I'm just going to yell Polo in response. So, sorry, shoppers, but if you say Marco, if someone's named Marco, I'm going to say Polo. And I won't be able to stop myself. Believe me, I've tried. Lily hates I, ha I do this. She hates it. There are certain things that she'll say, and it's like it, I'll just hear it and like immediately have to give some kind of like meme-like respo meme response or just old thing as a response. Um, the one that I've been trying the hardest to stop is the your mom. And you know, it's like someone says, uh, like, oh, this is so stupid. It's like, your mom's stupid. Like, or, you know, the your mom's this or that. It, I'm, I'm getting better at it. I'm getting a lot better at not using that. Because, boy, howdy, is it annoying. I dislike that I do that. And I, I can't even say it's like Tourette's. It's def I, I can't say it's like Tourette's. It's, I, I want to say it's a lower degree of my impulse controls. Like, I, 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 I'm a very, very impulsive person. Very impulsive. Which is why I keep a strong control on some of my habits. That's why I don't... Well, I'm trying not to drink because I'm highly impulsive and I don't want to spend money on it anymore anyway. But I also refuse to go to casinos because I know if I go to a casino, I'm going to have a hard time stopping myself. My impulse controls are not great. The cool thing is I, I don't cave to peer pressure. Usually people try to use peer pressure with me. I tell them to go um, kick rocks. There we go. I tell them to kick rocks because it, 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 the, the most common the most common peer pressure I get is to play certain video games that I like, I'm not into. I don't want to play them. They're not going to be my thing. I've been pressured into playing things like Destiny. I won't play it. It's just, I don't feel like it. Uh, there have been many games I've been asked to play over and over and over, and I'm just not going to play them because it's not really my thing. And I, I don't play games because they're the cool thing that's in. I mean, look at me. Do I look like someone who's going to do something because other people are? Do I look like that kind of person? <laughs> well, we know plenty of people who do VR chat, but I do it because I've been waiting for virtual reality since I was a little kid. Think, think, you're a kid in the early 90s and people rant and rave because the video games are, you know, finally getting good. I mean, this is back in the days of 8 and 16-bit. Come on. But back then, they're like, oh, yeah, we're going to get virtual reality. And they used to have shows for it. Of course, I also looked forward to the day we have a holodeck because, you know, next generation stuff. Star Trek. So, yeah, I... I I grew up where everyone was ranting and raving before. Of course, I remember the initial, the initial hype for the Virtual Boy. Then people tried it and they said their eyes hurt. So I tried it. And I was like, eh, it's the Virtual Boy. I had, I had a friend who had one. Of course, this, I mean, this is back when people took risks with their hardware and all kinds of peripherals and stuff like they had those one single eyepiece video game headsets was the equivalent of what was it the old uh shark or whatever like shark gaming or something or was just a single game essentially that was equivalent of a gaming watch from the 1970s <laughs> and it was like you could have it on an eyepiece or something it was it was a, a neat little gimmick but it was that's what it was it was a gimmick that was overpriced pretty much garbage because very few people had them but I waited and waited and waited my entire childhood went by there weren't any true VR headsets and then the oculus rift was in beta in my adulthood that was what uh they announced it what 2011 2011 is like maybe when they said that it was you could get the uh, developer version or something like that 2014 rolls around. I didn't even, I didn't truly know about VR chat until probably 2017, I think. 2017. Then, of course, I joined in 2019. It was a dream come true, so I'm not going anywhere. It may have fallen out of popularity, but I'm staying here because this is what I waited for. I waited my entire childhood and into my adulthood for, some, for a platform like this. I'm not going anywhere. So, 
I know there are some people who are like, why are you going around looking like this? Why, 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 are you in, why are you in VR? Because I waited and waited and waited. And that's something I do understand generations behind uh, my own. I do understand they're not going to understand that. When you've waited your entire life for a, for a medium and you finally get the opportunity, we're no longer in an age where they're just going to say, oh, well, you're too old for it now. Yeah, we're in a cons- consumer society. We're not in a productive society. <laughs> we're, a consu- we're all about our consumer goods. So here we are, VR. I love it. Of course, all I do is stand here talking to a camera when I talk, when I talk about breaking the third wall here. What third wall? What wall? Huh. But uh, there were other. What? I'm, I, I did this last time. I did this last time and there was something I wanted to talk about and then it, it, it just slipped my mind. I cannot remember what it is right now. For that, I apologize. But I, uh, outside of that, I, I guess I rambled about other things. So, that, so, so that's a bonus. But anyway, I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their Thursday. August 29th, 2024, day 242. <sighs> I need to get going. There's much to be done. So enjoy yourselves, and I'll see you all, or we, once with this, this sleeve is weird. We will see you all tomorrow. See you around.